Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Fiji K, uh, and I'm out in my garden today and I just wanted to show off a little bit. Plus, this is a mushroom that last time I did a video of it, it was a, a very mature specimen. So uh, I'm using that as my excuse for showing you my own garden, Chicken of the Woods, which has just popped out of this cherry tree. First time I saw it was uh, a couple of days ago. It was uh, half this size, um, and that would have been the 3rd of May. So it's uh, a nice early fruiting tree that I have here. Chicken of the Woods is a mushroom that will grow right the way through summer in different places. And then when you get to sort of August time, most of the specimens that you're seeing are a bit too woody and fibrous and they become quite acrid and bitter at that stage. So what you really want with your chicken of the woods is uh, some nice, reasonably young stuff. This here is a bit too young. Uh, it's got, because it's in my garden, I know I can safely leave this for probably two or three more days. Maybe I'll do another video then just to show you how much it's grown in a couple of days um, to, to fill out. And uh, before it starts getting shelf-like, it should just keep creating these bulbs around everywhere but then in a few days what will start to happen is each of these bulbs will start to flatten out and turn into a shelf-like fungus now uh, it's a really really good edible as far as I'm concerned but as in my other video I've got to give you the word of warning quite a few people uh, have a, a mild allergy to this mushroom which can result in gastric trouble or their lips swelling up apparently so don't just feed this to everyone willy-nilly at a dinner party because there's a good chance someone might have a reaction to it but do try it yourself in small quantities first and if you don't react from a small bit have a bigger bit the next day and then you know if you've not had any reaction whatsoever you're probably not one of the unlucky ones but do uh, do try a small bit first at least before tucking into a nice chicken of the woods dinner but if you are one of the lucky ones like me who can eat this mushroom then you're in for a treat because it's the best chicken substitute that i know of um, which uh, you can get as, or that you can get as a vegetarian and uh, for me I use it in any chicken dish it goes in curries it goes in stir fries uh, you can use it as satay chicken if you want to um, cook it reasonably the same as chicken when you're frying it um, don't roast it obviously that's not gonna actually to be honest that's not something I've ever tried is roasting a whole chicken of the woods but I'd imagine that uh, the inside will dry out a little bit takes marinades really well goes really well with all kinds of sauces and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to this one growing uh, for the next three or four days I'd say and then I'm gonna be harvesting it bit by bit so take the biggest bit first have that for dinner and then let the other smaller bits grow Lytiporus sulfurious young chicken of the woods there's only one poisonous bracket really to be wary of in the UK. It's called the cinnamon bracket. And if you watch our video on January greens and mushrooms, then it's the last thing we talk about in that video. It would be very difficult though to mistake the cinnamon bracket for chicken of the woods. This is the only mushroom that grows at this height out of a tree that is bright yellow, starts off bulbous and turns into big, yellow shelves. If you want to see those yellow shelves, look at my other Chicken of the Woods video that I did a couple of years ago because those specimens were, were very mature, um, just at the edge really of uh, their best for cooking. Um, but this is what it starts off like. And uh, yeah, makes me a happy gardener today, uh, mixed with a happy forager. Anyway, go out and find some for yourselves. Now's the time to start looking for the young stuff. And if you want to find out more about mushrooms or find out about the courses that we run, go to www.wildfooduk.com.